From all of us here at Keen Investigations, we hope you're having a great day. Former college football star Richard Hansen was having a night out drinking with friends. However, later that night, Richard and his ex-girlfriend split off from the group and ended up being chased by a crazed stalker. On the night of April 29th, 1991, Richard and several friends went out to a bar for drinks. At 11 a.m., Richard and his ex-girlfriend Jean left the bar in her car. At 1.30 a.m., they arrived at the restaurant where Richard had left his pickup truck. While they were sitting in her car, another car pulled up behind them. At first, they thought he was going to the mailbox. However, the man never used the mailbox, instead sat in his car staring at them while they were talking. When they were ready to go, Jean agreed to follow Richard in her car because she was unfamiliar with the area. When they each left in their separate vehicles, the man pulled out after them. When they got to the first traffic light, the man followed them as they both made the left turn. After turning onto another road, Jean changed lanes and the man copied her lane changes, staying behind her. At the next traffic light, Richard motioned to Jean to follow him onto the freeway. The unknown man continued to follow them for over 10 miles, even after they pulled onto the freeway. Jean changed lanes a number of times to make sure that he was indeed following her. She even slammed on the brakes while driving at high speeds, but the man slammed on his brakes as well. Beginning to get freaked out, she pulled beside Richard's truck and shouted at him that they should go to the police station. But he could not hear her and shouted back to her to follow him off the next exit. The man continued to follow them off the highway, even though she nearly missed the exit ramp. After exiting the freeway, Richard and Jean both pulled over to the side of the road and the man pulled in behind them. Unsure if Richard knew what was going on, she frantically pointed to the unknown man. At this point, Richard got out of his car and went to go confront him. Richard walked up to the driver's side door and asked the man what he wanted. Jean could not hear what the man was saying as he pointed to the back of her car. Richard responded to whatever the man said as if he was crazy, throwing his arms up like he could not believe what the man had said. He then stepped back and shouted at him to get the hell out of here. A few seconds went by and the man pulled out a gun and shot Richard twice, once in the chest and once in the neck. Jean frantically ran back to see if she could help, but was frozen in fear, staring at the man who was staring back at her before he took off into the night. Unfortunately, Richard was dead by the time the paramedics arrived. From the beginning, investigators had trouble finding a suspect and a motive in this case. Jean and some investigators speculate the man was a crazed football fan and was following and harassing them due to her license plate which reads 49er Hugs. It is a reference to the San Francisco 49ers. The man is suspected to be a fan of a rival football team. This man has never been identified and the case to this day remains unsolved. Do you think Richard was shot by a crazed football fan? Let us know your theories below. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to tackle that like button and share the video with friends. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell icon. We look forward to seeing you all in the comments and as always, have a great day.